Good morning. It's a Thursday morning in my life in dental school. I'm a fourth year dental student in my final semester, so I'm really close to graduating and working as a licensed dentist coming up in the late spring, early summer. And today I just want to document like a full day in my life instead of shorter days as a week in my life, which I have a ton of on my channel, but I want it to be as detailed as possible going through today. So you saw a little bit of my morning routine and now I'm going to go head off to school. On the agenda for today is 9am patient and 2pm patient. That's kind of how our school lets us schedule patients. We do schedule them ourselves. So I knew that today would be a very operative heavy day. So at 9 a.m. I'm seeing a patient of mine for gold crown preps on three and four. And then we have a lunch break after and sometimes there's different club meetings or I have an elective class once a week at that time as well. And then you get back and set up for your next patient, which is at two o'clock. And for me, that's going to be a patient that needs pretty much restorations on every single tooth. We've done only two so far, so it's usually just depends what tooth is bothering you today, which one hurts the most. And then we try to work on that specific tooth and if possible, some of the other ones around it while she's already numb. So that's the plan for today. Let's jump back into my morning routine and head off to dental school. So my appointment was from 2 to 5 o'clock. We took the whole time. I was done with all of my preps at around 3.10 and it took me until 4.45 to finish restoring them all because we had to pet cord and then I had to kind of do them in pieces because I wish I got a picture of what the preps looked like but essentially pretty large but simple class 5 on number 11 and then 10 was every single surface just basically like almost like a crown prep left in the middle but I was having to build it all up with composite and eventually that's going to get a crown but we have to take care of all of the caries throughout her mouth first. This is not her intraoral photo but it's kind of similar to give you an example that basically every tooth has some caries that need to be addressed. Pretty rampant caries so we're just going tooth by tooth, caries removal and if they need endo we'll refer them to endo after the fact. Surprisingly this one didn't have a pulpic pulp exposure even though the caries look super deep radiographically so we'll see how she does with any symptoms going forward before eventually doing a crown but for now all the carriers are out and then we also did number nine and that one was another large buildup, but not quite as big as 10. 10 was a lot. So basically I was restoring three contacts and building up two large central lateral and then a pretty classic filling on the canine. That one was not hard. They all looked really pretty from the facial, but I was frustrated with the outcome on the lingual. It's sufficient and I think it will be fine, but on future visits I might end up touching it up or trying to help to make the contacts and everything better because I just don't love it. But there is a contact. It's smooth. Floss isn't shred all that jazz everything's fine I'm just being picky and I think we're all kind of like that as dentists future dentists whatever you want to call it after clinic it's a little after six o'clock I had a quick little snack like a little bit of leftovers from dinner last night and a protein bar and I'm gonna head to the gym and on my way back I've been loving this brand of protein drinks Owen so they have their non-dairy no wheat gluten soy eggs peanuts nuts Sesame, fish, shellfish, chemicals, fillers, artificial colors, artificial flavors, or artificial sweeteners, 100% vegan, 100% gluten-free. 
free. I don't really follow any of those diets, but basically more clean ingredients, 20 grams of protein, and 180 calories, and they taste really good. This one's cookies and cream-less. Um, I also love their cold brew flavor that has caffeine, equivalent to like a cup and a half of coffee, so I like to drink those after morning workout sometimes. I don't have these every time, but probably about half the time I'll have one of these after a workout, and I just know I'll be really hungry after, so I wanna make sure I have that in the car. Planning to only go for 30 minutes to the normal gym. I like to mix that in with the workout classes now, just because I can really target like the things I know I need to work on, and specifically I'm trying to increase my cardiovascular fitness, so I'm gonna do a long session on the stairs most likely, kind of prepping for our family trip to Greece in May, because I know there's a lot of stairs there. And then after that, I'll come back, have dinner that I cooked last night, thankfully, I don't have to do any cooking, and then I will fill you guys in on the rest of the night. It's about 9.45, I just had to check my clock. I just finished my weekly CE, myself, and three of my other friends in my class have a little like accountability group because one of my goals for the year was to do at least one hour of CE per week, not because I need hours for any reason, especially as a student, now they don't really count. They can count towards like some stuff for Academy of General Dentistry, but not for your hours towards your license. Those don't start till after you graduate, but I'm literally just doing it to learn more and supplement what we're learning in school and be able to think about my weaknesses and try to watch videos that would help with that. So that's a lot of surgery, pharmacology, endo are the main things that I'm kind of looking into. Tonight I watched one about oral surgery. Most of the ones I'm watching are through Dental Nachos Supreme CE, which is an online gallery of about two or three thousand hours, and they run promotions a lot and have a student discount, so I got a pretty good price for a year subscription where I can watch as much of that as I want. So that's what I did tonight, as well as some other random computer work and things for school. We don't have too much going on for school, as you all know from my other videos, in in terms of academics, didactics, and studying, it's really just patient management, keeping up on all of your contact notes, making sure you know who's coming in when, and that no one has overdue treatment and isn't scheduling. And if they're not scheduling, you have to put different things into the contact notes and notify the school so they can get in touch with the patients and send them warnings and check in, do you want to still come to the school? All that sort of stuff. So it's a lot of busy work that takes, honestly, probably one to two hours a week on a good week, and then then when you get a heavy influx of things going on, like between semesters when you have to do a lot of scheduling, sometimes you're spending like three hours going through all of the stuff, seeing what everyone needs, especially if you're looking to get your test cases and things done. So I already finished all of my graduation requirements, test cases, total credits, everything we need back in like late October, early November. So I've been done for a while but we still have to show up and do work and I'm really just there getting to focus on treating my patients and learning and doing as much work as I can, more repetition and more speed and more quality. <laughs> so that's what I kind of focus on. I don't have to worry about the credits or checking different boxes, but when you are worried about that, then you're going through all your patients and all their planned treatments and seeing who could qualify for a test case, who's more reliable, who's more relaxed, that they would be a better candidate for a test case all different things like that. So it can take hours and then you're going through and contacting them and scheduling them. And if you're doing a more complicated procedure, you might be thinking, oh, what faculty is there that day? So you have to look that up, see if you like to work with that faculty, or maybe you want it on a certain day of the week when you have less stressful stuff going on, like whatever it may be. It's just a lot of organizing. You are the office manager, the patient coordinator, all those things with your little pool of dental school patients. But that is everything for this day in my life vlog. It was a very eventful day. It was a good day and I really enjoyed the treatments I got to do. I was very sucked in and engaged. They were challenging but not too challenging. Like I could do it but it kept me on my toes a bit and I think the outcomes will be good for these patients which is all you can really hope for. So with all that said, I will talk to you in the next video.